If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And the newly, I say newly, it's been like a few days now, but 90 rated Chris Smalling. I say few days Wednesday was upgraded wasn't it uh, so yeah quite yeah quite a while now but either way uh, looks like a decent card I've already reviewed the 88 I gave him a solid review it was a good card I didn't see anything particularly wrong with it it felt decent in game sure not the quickest of players in terms of agility and jockey and things like that but definitely not unusable with an anchor chem style as well we increased that pace up uh, into the 80s and the 90s for the sprint speed you get 99 strength you get better aggression, not that you need it really. Uh, all the defensive stats were up into the the sort of high 80s, low 90s. Now they're already there naturally. And of course, with that anchor on top of him again, it's going to make him even better. You've got 91 reactions. You've got 84 composure. His passing was solid. I say solid. In a, in a straight line, short distance, it was solid. Uh, you've got high defensive work rate, three-star weak foot, which is definitely not ideal. But I mean, for a centre-back, it's not the worst thing in the world. It was a good card, the 88. The 90 now, with the stats that I've just read off, sounds even better again. And of course, if you like the 88, without a shadow of a doubt, you're probably going to like the 90, right? <sighs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, people are going to ridicule me for this and, and really talk down on me in the comments, I'm sure. But it's how I feel. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to try and sit here and tell you that this card is just that much better than the 88. Because unfortunately, for whatever reason, just not true, right? We'll get into why and a little bit more specifically in a second. Uh, in terms of the, the card itself, I mean, on paper, and uh, we've been through this a little bit, uh, actually, with the review that I released earlier today. I released Pastore, and his stats on paper, they're good, but they're nothing spectacular. In some areas, he looks fantastic. In other areas, he looks average. But in game, he was just a very good player, just unreal. The team we've got Chris Smalling in is a good one. Not a massive fan of every player in this team. Uh, one of my favourite players is actually Estepinian, the left back. He is one of the best centre backs you will ever use in FIFA. And I say that with a, a straight face serious. He is brilliant. Big, big fan of him when you play him as a centre back, especially in a five of the back formation. Chris Smallin as the 88 was decent, right? He didn't really put that many sort of didn't I was gonna say didn't put that like a foot wrong. That's kind of what I was trying to say. He didn't really put a foot wrong, didn't really make that many mistakes. And for the most part, I liked him. I actually thought he was very good. This card, it's the same one, but it's been upgraded by two, right? But for some reason, he is just a shadow of what that 88 was. He's not as good. And I don't care what anyone says. For me and my experience, I preferred the 88 and I wish I could have kept the 88 because I don't know why and I can't explain it. It's a thing that happens in FIFA, and it's been in the game since I don't even know how long, since I can remember, and I've played this since it was released as a DLC in FIFA 09. We had to pay 800 Microsoft points to download it. Uh, I remember doing it, actually. I was sat on the end of my bed thinking, what the hell is this Ultimate Team nonsense all about? Chris Smalling's 88-rated card was good. This just isn't. He leaves everything. Uh, you've seen it already twice in this video. If you go back and have a look at the first two clips, he watches the striker run past him. I'm spamming B or circle if you're on PlayStation to, to stick out a leg, to make a challenge, to do something. And he doesn't. He stands there. He watches the striker just walk past him. And it, it doesn't end up in a goal, the two occasions that he did it in the first couple of seconds of the clips. But it does in the future. And it does an awful lot. And he has cost me so many times and across two different sessions as well, because the first time I actually did this review, uh, I've done this review twice. You're only seeing clips from the, the second time that I did it. But the first time I did it, uh, the footage was corrupted and I gave him a relatively bad or I would have given him a bad review, but I went to edit it and it was all corrupted and I couldn't use it. So I had to basically go and review him again, right? I go play all the games again and record all the clips. They're all very similar. To be honest, they could easily have been the, for the first set. You wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. Just the team names that are, that are different. It's exactly the same outcome. He goes in for a challenge. 
he can't quite, I mean, to be fair, that's just a bad, that looked like a good tackle, to be fair, I think the referee got that one wrong, maybe he's a little bit too aggressive, but his slight tackling, I don't really see that there's that much of a problem with it, I enjoyed the slight tackle, but when it comes to timing of challenges, you go in for a challenge, you press B or press tackle or whatever, and he just doesn't do it when you when you tell him to do it, or he does it, but he does it like a second too late, there, bit of an unorthodox clearance, managed to work it out in the end. Not everything he does is bad. It's not a terrible card. What I'm saying is I prefer the 88. Just doesn't stick a leg out when you really think he should do. He just doesn't feel as good as the 88 did. The 88 was switched on. That That's the, the term I'm going to use. The 88 was switched on. The lights were on. He knew what he was doing. He was aware of his surroundings and he would make the interception. He put in a, a, a tackle. Sometimes he'd put in the tackle without me even having to do it. You know, the AI would take over for me and essentially just block the shot or block the pass or block the move. But this version of Chris Smalling, for some reason, just doesn't do it anywhere near as often. You know, obviously, now and again, you're, you're going to get it. You, you, you can use 78 rated defenders who will block a shot or put a leg out to uh, win a ball back or something like that. And, and okay, maybe not do it consistently, but they will do it. Chris Mullins, 90 rated card, he does do it. And it, he's not a bad card in that sense. But compared to how good that 88 was, and I used him across two or three different sessions. I actually didn't plan on reviewing him the first time around, but he was so good in one of the games, I thought, you know what, I'll give him a review. The 90... In the first session of Rivals games, we played about five, six games. And I thought, right, I've got a general gist of how I feel about him. I'm going to say he's not very good compared to the 88, which he wasn't. Went to review, uh, went to edit it. Of course, it was corrupted, like I said. So I did it again, thinking, right, well, different day. It was like three days after or two days after. We're bound to get a different result, right? That must have been a blip. And I would have said it in the in the review the first time round that I, when I got the original clips that, you know, it could just be the session and the gameplay could be heavy, etc. and so on and so forth. But this is across two different sessions in a few different game modes. Champs, uh, division rivals, and I think I played a few friendlies with him as well. And it's the same outcome. This 90 rated card, it's not a bad card. Not at all, right? He's got strength, he's got speed, his sly tackles, despite the fact that a few of them ended in fouls. I think the referee needs glasses. They were good challenges. He's good in the air. He's aggressive. He's a good defender. But, and I've said it before like 17 times in this video and I'll say it again. If you compare him side by side with the 88, I did not enjoy myself. I expected more from this card. He didn't give it to me. The 88 was better. I don't know how it's a thing. It's been, like I said, it's been a thing in FIFA for as long as I can remember with informs. Like, a card will get an 86 rated inform. A few weeks later, you'll get an 87, and it's not as good as the 86. Why? I couldn't tell you. I really don't know how it works. Maybe it's something to do with coding. But either way, I did not enjoy this as much as I enjoyed the 88. Have you ever experienced it? And feel free to let me know if I'm talking absolute nonsense in the comments. But like I said, it was across two or three different sessions. I just don't understand how he can feel worse than the 88. I don't understand it. If you've enjoyed this review, for whatever reason, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for new. And until the next time, goodbye.